evening all my Android watch wearers. This is our mic as always. Uh, tonight we're going to be taking a look at a new watch that I had picked up. It is one that has been out for a little bit, but we'll get to that in a moment. First off, my very first Android Wear device was my LG G Watch, as you can see here. Its ambient mode is on. Um, I decided to wear this for today because it does have the 6.0.1 Marshmallow update. And right now, I have not charged this at all today. My battery life is at 42%, and as you can see, it is a little after 6.30 in the evening. Friday night, and I am still doing good on battery life, so that is not bad. I have my original band on, as you can see. I don't have my black band on that you may have seen in other videos. Uh, if you guys are new to my videos, please go on ahead and hit that subscribe button and uh, go back through, and you can probably find some videos with this in it that I've done. Um, specs on this, this is a 400 milliamp hour battery, Glorilla Glass 3. Um, it is a 280 by 280 pixel density of 240 pixels compressed in there. So how the display would look. Um, this was my very first Android Wear watch, and I got this as soon as I heard about it. I pre-ordered it and waited for Google to ship it. I was originally going to get into uh, Pebble smartwatches, and I waited for Android Wear. So that was my first watch. Um, it has the, the LG G watch also still has the uh, Snapdragon 400 processor quad-core. Um, you guys know all the basics of that. You can go look anything else up about it that you are not sure on. Um, my second step into the Android Wear was the Asus Zen Watch. And the reason why I chose the Asus Zen Watch was for its thinness. The body girth on this is only 9.4 9 millimeters of thickness. That is pretty thin compared to the LG G Watch. Its body girth was 10 millimeters of thickness, so it was a hair thicker. Um, and I like that it was in a AMOLED display in the Asus Zen Watch. Still a 400 milliamp hour battery. It still does good. Um, the only thing I'm sad about right now at this very moment in time is that it has not received its 6.0.1 update. Um, I had decided to go ahead and venture into the round watch faces. And I'm talking full round watch faces, not flat tire, no ambient light sensor. And as for you guys know, there are only, I believe, three watches. There were four, but there were four. There we go. But there are only three watches out that are Android Wear watches that um, feature a full circular display. The LG G Watch R, the... Um, what was it? The, the um, Huawei smartwatch and the LG Watch Urbane, which is the one I have right here. This is not the second edition. This is the Urbane. Original price of this, the original price of the LG Watch Urbane is $349.99. That's what you'll find it on, on, um... Google Store. I always want to say Play Store, but it's the Google Store where you can pick this up. I had actually gone and picked this up at Verizon. That's where there are multiple SKUs on here. I'm covering all that up. They have this on sale right now. And I'm going to say this one more time. They have this on sale right now while it is available for $249.99. That is $100 off the full retail cost of this. So that is a pretty good deal. Um, as you can see, I have not opened this. I saved this so I can do an unboxing here so you guys could check this out and uh, go through it with me. So let's crack into it. All right, so we'll start with the side. Like it says, do not accept this package. If you guys ever get a watch from the mail, do not accept it if the seal has been broken because that way you are not liable for any damages or anything done to the watch or even if it is stolen, missing, whatever. It is not on your hands. So, we we'll lift our lid off, and there we are presented with the LG Watch Urbane. This is not the second edition, this is the original. The second edition was actually supposed to be a pretty powerful watch, and that one was cancelled, as many of you are aware, due to a screen defect. So, we'll lift that up and out with its nice steel black band, leather band. So, that in front. 
Okay, so now that's set aside in the box, we also have our charging cradle piece back here in the back. And then we have our cable, and it is the same magnetic charging cradle as what you have seen in with the original LG G watch. On our right side package, we have our wall wart. There's nothing else in there, that's just a piece of uh, cardboard or paper or cardboard to lift that up. So your wall wart sits right there. In the top section here, we have our manuals, or our manual, or only one. So that's pretty much it for inside the box. So going ahead and take our charging port out and get that out of its packaging. Alright, so here that is. Again, like I said, it is like the original. Uh, as you can see, it is runs on the pin connection, just like the original LG G watch. So we can get that to focus. There we go. Somewhat. Yeah. So yeah, the original pin connection, um, it is magnetic, so as soon as you set the watch down or put this near it, it should suck up into it. There is no, on the original one, there is like a, a super sticky um, film tape cover that you can peel off, like a, and uh, there was like a film on the back side that was a sticky, nice adhesive. You could probably stick it to a wall or stick it to a, a desktop or something, so that way your charger wouldn't move. This is just a nice rubber this time around, so... Um, yeah, and we're going to pull the watch out, and if we set our charger on it, even now, yeah, magnetically just sucks up to it, so there you go. Alright, next up we will go on ahead and do a boot up, and we'll take off all our adhesive and get this ready. As you can see, I moved all the stuff out of our way, we are now ready to go on ahead and go over the watch. First thing is you got to make sure we get off all our stickers and all the, there is the nice, um, can't really see it with everything in the background there, but there is the adhesive, or not so much adhesive, but the plastic covering all the stainless steel here that will go on ahead and peel off. First thing we'll do though is, let's go on ahead and power it up. Make sure it probably goes on ahead and boots up, which it is. While that is doing that, we'll keep that on the side view here where you guys can see that. Um, under, a lot of you are probably aware, you can pair multiple watches to one device. So if we go under my Android Wear, you can see that I do have my Asus Zen Watch connected and my G Watch, because like I said, those are the two that I'm using, and we will pair a new device. So... I'm going to go ahead and pause this for a second, and we will let this uh, boot up and start some updates. Okay, so we are booted up and ready. Let's go ahead and swipe in. We want English. We have the app on the phone. We'll pull that off and set that aside right next to you so you guys can see this as it happens. Use my fingerprint. We are unlocked. And we'll go into our Android Wear application, select it, we will do add new device, so now we are ready to start pairing, and there we have LG Watcher Bane, LG Watcher Bane, same coding, we can see it there, yep, so that is the correct watch, it's going to pair, yes we will allow it, and we are paired, so now it's going to update, alright, while it's updating I'm not going to keep you guys too long on this. Um, there is a reason, like I said, I wanted to go with a round watch. I didn't want to do the flat tire. I will make another video about that. Um, if you guys are definitely interested in getting this watch for $100 less than the original price, please go down to your local Verizon store, uh, ask your Verizon rep if you guys have the watch in stock and how much it is going for right now on their systems. Um, I don't know how long this watch is going to stay $100 off the original price. So for $249.99, that's not bad compared to the original $349. Um, if you guys have any comments or questions, please leave them in the comment section down below. This is RF Mike, and I will see you all in the next video.